Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And I'm really looking forward to trying this elegant puzzle from Ard van der Wetering, who um, has been a friend to the channel for a long time. He's a Dutch genius, a veteran of puzzle setting. And uh, I think we did a puzzle by him about a week ago, but I'm really looking forward to this other one that he sent in, in the arrow genre called Octopus, and you can see why. Now, um, this reminds me that we've been spending a lot of time um, testing and solving and providing hints for Arrow puzzles for our forthcoming app, which will join our suite of six apps. They're all available in the uh, link called description under the video. Um, you can find where to get them there on Steam or on Android or on the App Store and incredibly popular they are too, as is our Patreon site, where we will soon be releasing the solution video to everything Rogan is on fire by Demono, April's reward puzzle. Um, and of course, there's plenty of other content on there, um, both from this month and past months. So do have a look if you haven't already, do join up, of course. Um, so what's going on with this puzzle? Well, we have Normal Sudoku rules, we have arrow rules, which means that the numbers along the arrow add up to the number in the circle. Um, some of these circles are not circular, they're pill shapes, and they contain two digit numbers either reading downwards or left to right. Um, and they will be adding these three cell arrows that you see pointing away from them. Um, a few given digits and an anti-king rule. So two digits next to each other touching each other, even diagonally, are not allowed to be the same. So these two cells couldn't contain a two, although they could by normal Sudoku rules. Now that has actually meant it's not necessary to add the normal arrow rule about digits along arrows allowed, are allowed to repeat. Digits along these arrows are not by normal Sudoku rules, and digits along these are not by anti-king rules. So we didn't need to say that in the rule set. Nonetheless, let's um, let's have a go at this. We get six given digits, thanks to Ard's generosity, and I'm gonna give it a crack now. So let's get cracking. Um, you can try it on the link under the video first, of course. Now look, these threes are actually beautiful symmetrical setup, set up, and they are giving me a couple of threes, just by regular Sudoku rules. Then we're left with three stripes, which each must contain a three. And that has basically put off the moment of looking at these column five and row five. What are the, okay, what are the tens digits? Let's look at the row first, because it's a bit easier to read them. Oh yes, of course, these can't be threes in this row because there are threes in the boxes already. So the tens digits have to be a one and a two. They have to be different because they're in the same row, normal Sudoku rules apply. Oh, actually they couldn't have been a three anyway because three digits can't add up to 30 or something. In fact, yes, this is the exact point. What is the units digit that goes with a two? Well, it's not a one or a two because they've been used up in the row already. I don't know which one of these is a one and which one is a two, but let's just assume for these purposes that this one is the two. What's the units digit? It's not one or two, it's not three. The same would apply if it was over here. It must be a four, and that is because 24 is the biggest number you can get from adding three on the arrow in a straight line. So I'm gonna pencil mark a four in one of those cells. All oh, right, so yeah. I don't know which one it is, but one of these sets of three is seven, eight, and nine. So this middle cell is not a three, it is seven, eight, or nine. Okay, let's work out, if we can, what the units digit for the one is. So if that was 24, with seven, eight, nine there, then we'd have a three here and a one here. We've got five and six to place in the row. This is either 15 equals 6 plus 3 plus 6, so it's not that. So it's 16, don't know which side it goes, but it's 16 equals 5 plus 3 plus 8, so 8 must be in the middle. That must work the same either way. 
The five is going to be flanking the three. These are a four, six pair. I mean, I suppose seven and nine are still to be placed. And I don't know which side they go, but we do know that much. Now, does this work the same way? It may not, because the three setup is different. Oh, but actually, the units digit can never be a three because of these threes, effectively. So the unit, so it is the same. So it is, it is a one and a two in the tens digit, a four and a six in the units digit. Then we have eight, seven, nine, one way and eight, three, five, the other. This time, actually, it is different. The three is on the outside of the central box. So the five is on the inside as its companion. <laughs> I love this. So you get three, seven, nine there. You get five, seven, nine here. And look what that's done in the central box. We've got a three, five, seven, nine quadruple. Isn't that the epitome of elegance? It's absolutely brilliant. The other cells here now have to be one, two, four, and six. And now suddenly I'm not forgetting the king's move rule to everyone's amazement. These two can't be fours because they would be touching another four by the king's move. They also can't be sixes because whichever one was would put a 10 in the circle. We're not going to allow that. So they are a one, two pair. That gives us five and six in the two circles. That one, two pair takes one and two out of the other two central cells. Ooh, they're four and six. Um, whichever one is a six is going to need a one or two on the arrow. But the one that's a four, oh, it's going to be the same? No, four could use a one, two or five. Now, the reason four can't go with a four is the same, the king's move rule. Four can't go with a three because three can never be in these two cells because we've got threes looking at them from everywhere. Um, oh, but look at this. this. This pair, they're not just, these two cells are not just either five or six. They are five and six, and that's because these two have to be different being in the same box. This is so brilliantly set up. So this is a five, six pair. And that, in they're both looking at this cell. Same is true for this cell. But what that means for those cells is neither of them can be five or six. So they can be six plus one or two is seven or eight. Oh, they can still be seven, eight or nine. That's annoying. Six plus one or two here, or four plus five. Yeah, they, yeah. So one of these is definitely a five and I have no clue how to pencil mark that. They don't even reach across anywhere, but never mind. I mean, I haven't really pencil marked that that's a five, six pair either now. What else can we do? Now, these cells are not fours. Uh, the reason I say that with such significant tone is because four has been ruled out of all of those cells by where it's positioned in the givens. So we have fours in these positions. Um, that's going to give us a four in one of those two, remembering the king's move. Ah, that must give us a four. Oh, and it, look, it's made this a six. Have I got this right? Yeah, I have, because I was working on the box. And the conclusion is fine. Yes, that's the six. So this is 16 down here. 24 at the top. So this is the 7, 8, 9 um, set up here. 7, 8, 9 there. So we can put in the 5, 3 down here. That doesn't do anything else, does it? No. Sorry, I'm just wondering what have I learned here? I've got this thing figured out. That seven nine doesn't impact. We've still got a three seven nine set here. So I haven't disambiguated the row five items, but that's not a four now. That doesn't sort. 
that one out. Okay, so work to do. Oh, I'm missing something. What am I missing about the king's move or something else? I don't know. Right, stop trying to second guess the whole puzzle. Right, look at that four. That's pretty. It sees all those cells, that one by the king's move. So now four has to be in one of these three. It doesn't necessarily make this 24, but it does mean that can't be a four. So we get the four up there. Ah, I can't do the same here because that could still be a four as well as those. So maybe the puzzle isn't quite as symmetrical as I had been believing. That's intriguing. That's kind of just a mark of the setter's genius, actually. That you can't just symmetry your way to a solution suddenly. Um, right, what, what, can I, what can I do next? 316... Four here is ruled out of those. No, I can't see. Oh! No, I thought maybe... No, the threes haven't resolved those. Ooh, don't know what to do next. Right. Um, I need to come up with some new thinking here. It's all going along beautifully, and then I've just stumbled a bit. Right, let's just take a step back and figure out what we can do. I just, I'm missing something, aren't I? I'm probably passing my cursor over it all the time. You're shouting it at the screen. I'm not seeing it. What can we do next? This one two pair gives us a five six pair. Can't help looking at the more intricate logic because it gives so much beauty most of the time. No, I'm not seeing what else I can do. Um, right. Think again, think again, think again. Four, twenty-four. Did that have to be? No, it definitely didn't have to be twenty-four. Twenty-four could still be there. Nine, seven, eight, then three, five. Oh, one of these is a five, and one of these is a five. Can I use that? That means there's no fives in the rest of those columns. Hmm, that means over here five is in one of those two cells. Now my pencil marks are getting confusing. I've got one corner mark five for that pair and one for that pair. I have a feeling this is not how I'm meant to be going about this at all. I just don't know what any of these central ones are. Which one... No, I don't know. Um, three is all done. Just... Fours. Surely we can do a bit more with fours. We know that there's going to be one there. Oh, oh my goodness, there it is. Sorry, four there, four there. That can't be a four by the king's move. There it is. Sorry that has taken so long. That sorts out this six. That can't be a five. That means this is a four. That means this is a five. That's a nine. Oh, I feel freed up now. Um... Right, that's not a four. Oh, but I still don't know which of those is, whether it's on the... Four there. Ah, oh, those aren't four. That's not four. No, I'm still not resolved. Four can be in one of those positions. Okay, this five. Right, that's not a five now. That is absolutely crucial. So that means this is not a three. And we know where our 879 is giving 24. It is over this side. 
wouldn't have been rash to put that in, although it wouldn't have been strictly um, accurate. No, hang on, this is the five now. Five there and three there. So the seven nine pairs weave their way through there. Uh, six with a one or two is not nine. That six makes this a five, bingo. So one there, two there, six there. Six and six, we can get to place a six here. That gives me a six up here. That sees all of those cells and that one. But it doesn't resolve any other sixes. Um, four, two, seven, nine, five, six, four, nine, three, two. One is in one of those two cells by Sudoku from that. And therefore, one of those two could be the one on the arrow, but it doesn't have to be. That's not a one. No, not ones. What is the number two is now in one of those two cells. And one of those three. Now, they're quite interesting because they all see that with the king's move included. So that can't be a two, nor can those because of this. So two is now in one of those two cells. They ping pong back and take that one out of the equation. But that still doesn't resolve the position of all the twos. Um, oh, one of these two is a two. That means this one isn't because they both see it by the king's move. And therefore, the two in row eight has to be over here. And I mean, I'm getting fascinating deductions about the twos without actually placing any more in the grid. Right, fives. Five, again, can't decide that one. Ah, five, five, yes, five. And that fixes the four. So that makes this a four. That's right. That five, does that carry around? Again, one of these is a five. Oh, look, I've got down to a single five there. Yes, once I ruled five out of there, that became a five. Now we know it's there and there and there. Suddenly all fives are done. Five, four, so can I go back to sixes for any reason? No, not particularly. Oh yes, six, six, that's now a six. We definitely can. One of those two is a six. And one of those two, a little X-wing of six is there. One, no. Five, two, four, one, three, six. Ah, these, that can't be a three. Actually, three has been placeable there for probably a long time. That fixes the X-wing of sixes. That fixes the positions of twos, probably all of them. And that sees this one where kings move. Yes, it will be all twos. More than all twos, I can see that that's fixing my last arrow where I'm uncertain. This has now become a one because it sees that two. So we get a two there and there. That's not a two. That's not a one. This is now six plus one equals seven. Last bit of arithmetic required. Um, we've got seven, eight, and nine still to go in all. Oh, that's an eight, nine pair though. So that makes this one a seven. Uh, that's an eight, nine pair. So this one's a seven. And now every single digit on the arrows is complete. And the rest is just King's move Sudoku. So, 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 so one must go there. This is an eight, seven pair. The King's move fixes that. 8 over here, 9 and 8 there, um, and 7, yeah, this box is finished. I think we're getting to finishing up state. Yeah, again, 8 and 1 to go in here, but that 1 makes it straightforward. 1 and 9 in the column, 8 and 1 in the next column. Um, what have we got? 9, 8 and 7. And indeed, we can put them all in. Again, that eight picks up that cell. And what a lovely puzzle that has been. That is really elegance personified. 
Now, let's just check that ones aren't touching each other, twos aren't touching each other, threes, same, fours, fives, because the machine check won't do this for me, so I just wanted to give it a good eyeball. Sevens, eights, and nines, all present and correct. We can hit the tick and it looks good to me. So that's a really lovely puzzle by Ard. Um, He's so skilled at these. I mean, that is just beautiful. A lovely, lovely octopus. Um, and I am its friend now. So thank you very much for watching. Very much looking forward to being back with you tomorrow yet again for more Sudoku fun. See you then. Bye for now.